Tonight, tens of thousands of students without a school to attend and thousands of teachers and staff out of a job as another for-profit college is calling it quits. Good evening. This time, it's ITT Technical Institute. New specialist Lad Egan is live in Murray with our top story. So, Lad, how many students and teachers does this affect? Well, locally, I'm told here at the Murray location for ITT Tech that about uh, 200 students attend, but nationwide, about 35,000 students left in limbo because of this closure and about 8,000 employees out of a job. Not even the teachers knew what was going on. Sean Christensen got a surprise when he opened an email this morning from ITT Technical Institute telling him that the vocational college made the very difficult decision to discontinue operations effective immediately. Nothing on their student, our student portal saying stuff. I tried calling corporate this morning, just goes to voicemail. Having completed six months of courses in landscape design, he wants to know where he goes from here and worries about fellow students closer to graduating. That's a lot of money to put in and a lot of time invested just to have thrown back at your face. ITT says it will close more than 130 campuses operating across 35 states due to investigations into its recruiting and accounting practices. The for-profit school was recently barred from accepting federal financial aid. The U.S. Department of Education said in a statement today that the school's decisions have put its students and millions of dollars in taxpayer-funded federal student aid at risk. Pick a different school and start over. Students like Christensen have two options, apply to have their federal student loans discharged or transfer their credits to a different school. But transferring credits is not a sure thing and it could limit a student's ability to have their loans discharged. At first I was really confused. I was like, I thought we were okay. All these thoughts were going through my head and then I just got frustrated. I checked with the Utah Attorney General's office and also the Utah Division of Consumer Protection. Both offices tell me they have not taken any action against ITT. The college accuses the feds of being unfair here and taking away the college's ability to uh, accept federal loans without proving any wrongdoing. Dave, the next semester would have started on Monday, leaving uh, students very little time to make other plans. Lad Egan, live for us in Murray tonight. Thank you, Lad.